Good morning everyone, it's Rita here and today I'm going to do something a little different. I have talked about this before. Um, I saw on a, a um, YouTube video, actually it was floss tube, so it's a cross stitch uh, video. Uh, right now I can't think of the name of the people, but it's not on their channel every day. It was just kind of a, a thing that she did uh, and shared, you know. And she doesn't teach you how to make it or anything. So I hopefully can give you some ideas on what you can do. Basically, she um, made very large tags. Like this one is five by, I think it's five by seven and a half. Five by uh, just a tad over seven and a half. That's just for this section here. I'm gonna cut these away. And um, this is just a cracker box that I get from Walmart. Um, I like these crackers, and uh, they're a lot less expensive than Triscuits, but they pretty much are the, you know, sort of the same thing. So um, uh, since I have these all the time, I save these boxes because I use them in my writing um, boards when I make those for the journals. Anyway, um, so the tags are huge, and you can decorate them with um, different uh, items. You could put bricks, you could put um, branches, you could put dried flowers, you could put whatever you want, which reminds me, I didn't get those out, uh, that even stands out, or bumpy or lumpy, because you're not going to put it in a journal, you're going to put it in a box. So... For instance, I have um, this uh, box that I made uh, on my Slow Stitch channel. I, I think I'll make another one for this project that I think will look uh, more primitive rather than the bright colors, maybe more browns and that. But so um, I have these tags sitting in here at the moment, but this is exactly the right size. Now, um, what I'm doing today is for Easter or spring or um, whatever you want to do for this time of the year. So once you make your tag, you're going to display it in your little box. And then when it comes to um, the 4th of July, let's say, um, you would make a tag for the fourth, a patriotic one for the fourth. And so those would go in the front of each one of the ones you made. So if somebody comes over or yourself, uh, you can flip through these cards and it would just be fun, but you could just use them to, for displays. Uh, I think uh, people would get a real kick out of them. And I think even more so, I hope to do memory cards uh, where I can put say my grandmother and grandfather a picture of them and then decorate it in what environment they would have been in uh, during that time of the picture so if the picture was in 1948 you know I could put things in there that relate to that time of the uh, of their life so are my own children I could you know put my my uh, daughter and her children could be displayed in there Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. And that's what I'm going to try to make. So what I found was I had um, these rabbits. And I, I printed out. I had them. I don't know where they went. But I know that I had them. So I printed out these little rabbits here. And then I found these two. This is from My Porch Prints. It's called the French Rabbit. And this is... Um, one of the pages I thought maybe I would use this rabbit but um, I don't think so I think I'm gonna go with a smaller one because I want to build around it then I've got these um, these are from um, um, Artie Mays um, I had gotten these oh, a long time ago when I first started journaling and never been able to really use them and so I thought this is perfect I don't know where they're gonna go, but they're perfect. And then I got the um, window out, uh, Tim Holtz window. I kind of like it on these rabbits, but it blocks off this guy's entire face. And if I move it over that far, I don't have enough uh, you know, to do it. 
uh, so disappointed about that. But then I got pieces of um, coffee dyed uh, gauze, uh, doilies, some lace, some of this crackle paper. I think that reminds me of a Easter basket nest. And whatever else you can um, come up with to use. I had this little Easter uh, chick here and I was going to use that. And then I thought, no, that's not my style. I really prefer more of a, a primitive, uh, vintage-y uh, look. So, to get started, what you need is um, anything that's sturdy. It doesn't have to be a cardboard box. That's just, you know, it just is a perfect size. Plus, this is plain. So, I'm going to decorate on this side. Um... And this side you can leave just like this and you can write on the back of it what um, this is about. In other words, you can write, I've got stuff stacked everywhere. Uh, you could write what year you made it. You could write, you know, Easter 2024. I'm just gonna go over this a little bit to get that out there. Um, you could write, say, um, if it's a family member, you can write about, you know, the picture and what, where they lived, what they were doing, that kind of stuff. You know, if you have nothing else to do, you could do this, right? <laughs> but I just thought it was the cutest idea that this lady came up with. Uh, she is not a journal maker nor a scrapbook maker, but her friend is. And um, her friend was showing her things that, you know, she makes for her scrapbooks. And uh, I don't think she's a journal maker. I think she just does scrapbooks. And um, so she thought she would give it a try. And lo and behold, she got hooked on it and made, I don't know how many of them. But she went out and bought a, uh, a, a die cut machine and all that. So that was cool. All right. So this side, I'm going to leave like that. This side. <clears throat> oh, and I want to make my, I want to do my corners. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Reading my daughter's text about Easter Sunday. What we're doing. Where was I? I want to cover this, but I was thinking of doing my tag shape. Now, you don't have to do a tag shape. You could leave it square, or you could do something decorative up here, like a punch. That's what I was going to do, but my punch wouldn't go through this card stock. So, I'm not doing a punch. Um... So I thought I would just cover it with a plain decorative page. And I think I'm going to use this one because it has the roses, the pinks, and it has the um, green in the background that will go with, you know, both of these. And I think everything else I have already kind of picked out, it goes with. I'm going to take too long to explain all this and then we'll never get it done. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Because the main thing is just to get... And honestly, I have no idea where I'm going from there. Um, all I'm going to do is get this on first. Um, oh, I meant to get a new glue stick. Or did I? Yes, I did. I got a new one. I'm kind of anxious to do like a patriotic type so um, Toby uh, I did not take him to the vet I, I talked to uh, my daughter about you know trying to find a, a vet I haven't had to use a vet for years and I don't have animals and if I do, they're strays, like Toby is. And um, so she gave me the name of the vet. And then um, I was going to make an appointment 
and my daughter was going to bring over the uh, little uh, kennel thing to, to get him in. And then I, I got him kind of cornered. Um, and I was able to pick up his foot. And he didn't do anything. Like, he didn't whine or cry or scream or try to run or anything. He just kind of relaxed. And I looked at it, and what it what's happened is he has uh, scraped it with, on something. And so it's got a little, it's got a scab on it. And the scab, I thought, was um, <laughs> like a broken leg or something but it's not he's still limping and I don't know why but maybe he's just gotten used to it and now he doesn't know if he could put his foot back down again why can't I ever do anything straight but what I I do know is that he is um, not in any pain because if he was I would be taking him to the vet I, I don't know I I, I know that, you know, he's sort of a cat that I've been, I'm attached to, but again, I'm not that attached because uh, he stays outside most of the time. He does not like to be in the house. He wants to get in, and I let him in, and then five minutes later, he, he wants to go out, back out. I think he thinks there's something out there, you know, like he's a scavenger, you know, he's all looking for bugs and birds and whatever else and then the other cat the calico cat he came in one day but I haven't let him back in and they're so full of hair both cats have long type hair probably messed that up oh well I'm gonna cut that corner off so I might save that for a minute so don't worry, he's he seems to be okay, I think. Um, I hope. But the vet is um, so expensive. Um, it would have been just to go in there and have him checked out. And um, if they had to do x-rays, it would have been $200 just in the door. And I don't know. I just don't, I just don't have that kind of money as long as he's not in pain. He'll heal. I mean, that's just nature. They they heal themselves. Um, what am I looking for? I lost my train of thought. I was just looking for edges. I mean, a thing to cut. I lost it, and then I found it. Now I can't find it again. My little corner guide. I don't think I want to make it a really huge corner. I mean, I'm just using this as a test. Let's see how I like it. Okay. So let me just ink it a little. I don't know. It just always gives me that The look I'm looking for. All right. Uh, hold on one second. She's texting me again, so it might be important. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. She was just telling me what they're doing for Easter. Okay, so now I want to put things in the background. And I don't know what <laughs> yet. Um, so I guess I should figure out some sort of focal point here. And let's cut this rabbit out real quick. I was trying to get this done because um, I have another video I want to get done today. straight line. I'm so afraid when I go get my driver's license, I'm not going to pass the eye test. You know what I 
mean. I think I'm gonna I'm going to ruffle this up a little bit because I don't like that. Whoa, that sounded horrible. Probably it doesn't matter because I think I'm going to cover this with the Also thinking that that she would be cute um, maybe looking out the window at the rabbit let's see oh, her face is right in the middle oh, let's try this one whoops I threw the wrong thing away Okay, those two could work in there. But that doesn't really pertain to the rabbit, does it? Um, Seems like everything is just a little too big. But I think now um, I will start saving things, you know, that I think will be cute on a tag. sitting down at the bottom. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I like these guys in there. I just really kind of wanted to use that window. I think what I'm going to do is just to cut around this. I'm going to cut the carrots and then wait and decide if I want the carrots or not. granddaughter's coming home for Easter and she'll be home for her birthday. It's a good thing I didn't send anything yet. <laughs> I always wait till the last minute and hope I can get it two days from Amazon. She lives in Utah. But coming home. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope this doesn't annoy you of me having to cut. I didn't think it would take me very long. My little cutter scissors, they work great for this, but I'm not fast. No, nothing like Rachel. Well, she can cut out in no time. And this is cardstock that I printed these on. I didn't know what I was going to use them for. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to cut off this carrot. 
get. It's going to look. All right. So I kind of like this background here. So I'm going to, let's see. I think this is the right side. So I'm just going to glue that down. rest of it with the glue. Most of that's probably going to be covered up anyway. Okay. Then I, I think I want some lace or something down there at the bottom. as much of her face as I can. Okay, use this glue. picture in there. get a little bit more of her face. could even have the bunnies sitting on the window. That's what's good about this is you don't have to um, worry about, you know, that kind of stuff. So that might be kind of cute. Um, so I thought I would put some of this in behind. I don't know where, but just to give it some more stuff. And let's see if I this is that packaging you get from some companies not everybody uses it and you can buy it now at um, I think uh, Staples or something it carries it I don't really want it to be sitting on this little nest. All 
on this you could use those um, pop-up um, things to uh, pop it up off the page okay so there was okay this I was thinking I want it on the top but now I'm not sure I'd have to do it like that and trim it off It's hard to keep it sitting until you can glue. I was going to use some handwriting. Maybe. This is my mom's writing. Okay, um, maybe I need a s smaller piece of lace up there. Okay, where's my? One of these would be cute right there. I just feel like you can put as much as you want. That's what I like. But I'm thinking, what can I... I need these for my other stuff. <laughs> Slow stitching. I'm not sure I like lace at the up there at the top yet. Let's see. Oh, here's my old vintage. Ooh. Let's see about this. I forgot I even had it. It's very old. So, now, let me, I don't know if I want to do it an angle. Okay, so... Let's see what pieces get laid down first. I wonder, do I need to ink that window a little bit? I think I do. Should have probably done that before I on. Now up here, I want to put a large bow. Um, ouch, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? I'm sure you're okay. <laughs> I just, I hit that because I was pulling the string, this sorry silk out of my box. So I'm just thinking about doing something like this because I want it to look like it's yeah like that so what how am I going to attach it oops I guess I'm going to have to refold it and I 
guess I'm not going to worry about it going through a hole. What I'm going to do is take a piece of bring that down so that it's I'm going to get a piece of string. Let's see if that will hold it. left enough room to tie it. Look at I got a bruise from hitting my my hand on the camera. Never done that before, ever. You know, bump the camera that hard. I know it's a little wacky, but it's okay because I don't want it perfect. Can't even see that lace up there though. But I know it's there. Okay, so where do we go? So let's get this glued down. I didn't ink this. I don't know if I wanted to. Whoops. Stay kind of textured there. Let me just do some of this. Okay, I'll just do that so it stays down for a little longer, a little bit. Then I'm going to put some of this in there. Oops, this is going to go on top of this, right? And then my little rabbits are going to sit on top of that. So let me put my rabbits on. I don't have any of that foam tape handy. I'd put that on there, but. So it's not coming out at, at all like I had anticipated it. <laughs> it's funny how we think what it's gonna look like. Um, I just want to give it a little ink on this. Alright, so where did I have this? Oops, I think I had that under the bit rabbit. Hmm. Darn. I'll come back and um, do a better job of gluing down. All right, so this is going to come over here like that. I'll trim that over. Okay. 
need to, I need to glue down this. Let's see if I can just turn it upside down. And It's so hard to glue all the stuff. Once <laughs> you get it all on there and you want to remember how it looks. It's hard to remember. Okay. isn't going to show really, but yeah, I'm going to get this glue stick because it glues lace really well. Kind of hide, kind of don't want to hide that vintage lace. Uh, maybe I'll go down with it more or the lettering. her face. If I could put the tag right here at the very top, I can't tell if I like that or not. I'm just kind of a person that goes to the side with things. All right, I want that to glue down good, so let's use fabric tech. As long as it doesn't show. I might come back and put a pearl or button there. Oh, a button would be cute. Oh, how much time have I spent? Oh, good. I feel like I've been doing it for hours. nice you don't have to put this in a journal because I like that button there okay so wish it was a two hole button because More vintage. Okay. The birds are going crazy outside. It's going to be, I think, seventy something today. And then tomorrow's rain. You know what? I'm not going to be able to do that with my eyes right now. I can't. I'll just do one. As long as it's not empty. Hmm. 
Might even leave those strings hanging a little bit. Like, like we tied the bow with it. So the box, you could take a shoe box and you could cover it with whatever you want. You could have a basket. That's good. I just glued it to my finger to let that dry. Okay. So all this needs to be glued down. Um, I'm not sure if this will hold it. Just a little glue to hold it down. It's like it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so let's trim this off. I guess that can be out a little bit. All right, anything else, you guys? would make them all the same size, right? Um, I think I would like something down there. I was thinking about cutting, let's see, cutting the flowers out and stick down here in the corner, but I think they're too big. So... And I have these little tags that I was going to stick inside somewhere, but it, that didn't happen. So, it's okay. Oh, and then this was my favorite bunny. Maybe I'll put him on the back. I might just put him on the back. I might just cover the back. Why not? That would be pretty and then it would have I could still write where is the lid let's see here where's that other piece of paper I had two pieces. I have this and a blue one. What do I do with it? Oh. I just want something um, Had a little charm or something. I don't think I do have anything that pertains to Easter.
These would be really cute little gifts too, don't you think? Like if you're going to somebody's house for Easter. And um, I don't know if they still do it today, but we used to hang things on our kitchen cabinet doors, like little pillows and stuff. I mean, not too long ago I did that. I used to do it. So in that case, if you wanted it to be, you know, where it hangs, you could put something, um, you know, punch a hole. Are you going to be in the way? Because I don't want to cut you off. Yeah, these would be cute. Like the wire I could put, I'm not gonna hang it, but if you were gonna hang it, you could put, you know, that rusty wire or something or just a ribbon going across this way. And then you could hang it on a, you know, your china hutch or your kitchen cabinet or whatever for Easter and change them out every holiday. Okay, so on the back of this, um, I'll go back and ink it later. I want this rabbit on there. And you could still write up here. three sides or let's see it's kind of a small tag isn't it hmm I think I'm this doesn't look right we can always reprint it's one good thing about digitals so I kind of want to make a corner pocket Should I cut him all the way out? Oh, I can't decide. No, I think I'll leave it a little bit. gonna glue these three side two sides make a little corner pocket there and then in there put these little tags so you can write in the backs of them I think I'll cut this out. It's, it's like a little banner thing. Oh, I remember I got some. Oh, well, not this side. I have some little green rig rack I was going to add to it on the front. Oh, 
Okay, I wonder how my handwriting would be. Not very good at writing. And I can't find my pen now. Oh, come on, pen. You've got to be right here somewhere. it. All right, I'm going to try and write Easter 2024. Right there. When I go to, when I try to print something, I print half of it in print and half of it in cursive. I don't know why I do that. So I have to decide which way I'm going to go, one or the other. My grandkids can't even read cursive. Okay. I, one day I, I gave them a card, my youngest granddaughter. She wasn't very, really very old, but old enough to, to read, you know. And I remember her um, looking at her mom, and she said, I'll read it for you, because she couldn't read script, and the card was in script, and I, I wrote in script. Now, these I could decorate even more if I wanted to, but I don't think I need to. If it was a gift, then I would put you know, little tags, thingies on them, little decoration. So that's cute, you guys. Look at that. I can't wait to have a box to put it in. My first one. I don't know what's next, what holiday. But I thought I'd do these once a month. I don't want to, you know, do them every day, but I want to make them. And if I don't do them on camera, I probably never get around to it. So anyway, I'm I'm happy with that. I still feel like I want something down here. I don't I don't know Any buttons. Um, Easter reminds me of buttons. a frog. I don't think I want a frog. I can't see anything right now that's jumping out at me. So I like that turquoise color. I might put that on something else I have. Okay. That's it. I'm going to uh, let you guys go and then I will decide what to put down here. But I kind of think buttons would be cute. In fact, I can take these white ones and paint them with um, alcohol ink to give them all a kind of a yellowy tone like these. These are painted with alcohol ink. All right, guys. So have a wonderful day. And um, I don't know what day this is coming up, but I think maybe Monday. So um, you can get this made in time for your uh, Easter holiday. All right. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.